Hey guys, thought I'd change it up a bit and do a bed edition of my videos. Gave me an excuse to make my bed, so it's worked out pretty well. But I want to talk today about one side of teaching that is massively, massively overlooked if you want to become the best teacher you could be, whether it's a drum teacher, PE teacher, I don't know, anything. So there's two things that are really going to make you a better teacher. The first one is gaining practical skills, which is kind of the obvious thing. You learn ways of explaining things, you learn ways of directing things, and you know certain kids need to be explained things, uh, need to be shown things, certain kids are better at reading, certain kids are better at listening, blah 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 blah. That's the obvious stuff. And obviously building up your repertoire of practical teaching skills is definitely going to make you a better teacher. But the other side is what I like to call your inner state. And that's how you're feeling while you're teaching. And I noticed this especially because I started teaching six years ago and where I am now my teaching has got much 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 better and I noticed that it's got better as my happiness has got better as I've learned to try to find out what I like to do in my life and how to do it. I like to feel energised, full of vitality and to carry that into a lesson the, the students are so much more receptive to what you're saying. They really, like, you can empower them with self-belief if you give them your energy, your vitality, your health. And this is especially apparent while teaching kids, because kids, they're really, um, what's the word? Kids kind of absorb everything that you do. If you're in a bad mood and you're trying to teach a group of kids, their behavior is going to be a lot worse. If you walk in there and you're in an amazingly good mood and you're nice and grounded and you're calm, their behavior is almost automatically better. And it's, it's crazy, and I'm not saying this because today I had a really good Tai Chi session this morning. I haven't had a good one like that in a long time. And I felt so energised, but not like a coffee, buzzy kind of way. Just in a calm, smooth, excited, I felt like the, the director of this scene. Like whatever the kids were doing, it was like, nope, this is what I want to do, you want to do this, you want to do this. Everybody was learning, everyone was having a wicked time. It was amazing. And this is why I invite you, any teachers out there, to do the same thing. Think about it, like, are you actually happy teaching? Do you want to get better at it? If you choose to invest your time into becoming a better teacher, you have to look at yourself and how am I while I'm teaching? You know, if you're miserable at home and you're picking up loads of practical skills, it might help you, but you're never going to truly get across the message that you want. So there you have it. Work on your inner state as well as your practical skills. And if your inner state's not that good, at least you can fall back on the practical skills. But anyway, yeah. Be happy, spread that to the kids, be an awesome teacher.